She looks so menacing. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. A knowledge bond can be very traumatic. Are you all right, Commander Shepard? Messed up my mind, dude. <laughs> I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Do you know what the conduit is? Or where it is? Oh, we just talked about this. No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the protein. DMT extinction. Space Edition. That can't be good, whatever it is. You have the cipher. In time, your visions will clear. They will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien so ancient its exact age is impossible to know it measured time differently ten thousand years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity its mind was awesome magnificent it transcended all classification and now it is gone don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing the thorian was a unique life form Ascension being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Yeah, that is pretty, pretty fucking wild. I don't even think we can, like, fathom living that long, right? It's just like, we don't even work with our brains. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. Cool. I can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. Unlocked achievement, Medal of Heroism. Gods, I'm a hero. I done went and did it. <laughs> thank Ships are already on their way here with supplies. Hey, Gavin, what up, bro? That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. Is the one... I thought... I will do what I can to assist the colony. I would like to have time. a merchant. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Oh, I never what did ask her about Saren. Saren. There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful. He's charismatic. Oh, Saren got that Riz. Once I followed. Got that danger Riz. Nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Farewell, Shiela. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the Cypher? The Cypher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I Luke, join, my, boy my got the sand hat on? Yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry, we don't have much time. Oh, we about to mind meld? Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. God damn.
It is a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers. But the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images. Locations. Places I recognize from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the Cypher, the images in your visions were never clear. It is only now that I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We have to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren is heading. I plan to be waiting when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You need to alert the Council. We need a fleet to... to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I need to go check on my girl. <laughs> Luke, let's just say I've been naughty this year. Uh oh, it's sharks. What up? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Yes, I, yes, I do. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. You have been very oh, understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It Fuck, is unlike dude. any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh, no! Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. I don't know if the movies just I don't know if I wanna be I don't wanna be pushy. Luke, it kind of sounds like that's what I really, really want. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this Did is I over... fuck up? I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. I think I we probably just stopped that. personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. I feel like let's, I fucked it up. Let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements.
Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. My man. Also taking us right there. Okay. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mu relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. It is not. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You Fuck bastard! You. You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this. Yeah, why this. are you being a fucking Commander, dick? Of course. Dude, fuck that guy. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Oh. Oh, shit. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Joker, you motherfucker. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Could I take a moment of your time? Fuck you Soldier, want. I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. 
What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Salarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. <laughs> what is this stimulant exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. Drug it run? It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? Worse. He's an alien sympathizer. My oh, assistant okay. wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Yeah. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. That sounds like an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're... you're right, uh... I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll... I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Get help when you need help. I'm Captain Hames. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He will not just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer. Or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Uh, more decisions. I feel like if he takes his chances with the patrols in Citadel Control, he will end up getting gunned the fuck down. But also, like, if he gets 
tried for treason and executed while I'm gone. That also sucks. But also, I feel like Ambassador Udina would expect somebody to be like coming in and doing this, doing that. If you hate Joriv, you just sneak in here like that. What the heck? I was wondering if you'd make it. I know you said you had to work. How's it going, buddy? And I do hate Udina. Fuck that guy. You'll have a better you're a fucking real one. The Sneak one hundred, my man. I was hoping you'd say that. The I'm happy you're here. Is personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Got off work early. Those are the best days. I love that. I love when I get off work early. Yeah, we'll get off the station. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'll take you the you get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Dude, the music here is vibes. I bet you, I bet you, someone's already made a remix of that. Oh, shit. Anderson, what are you doing here? Dude, whoop his ass. I didn't send him. Yeah! Yes! Just fucking knocked his ass out. Eat shit, kid. <laughs> Get us out of here, Joker. Now! Dude, I love Joker. He's like, yeah, fuck it, dog. I'm down. I'm down to clown. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth fleet out. I imagine it probably is, since I have to, like, avoid hurting people. This also gives me a chance to get maybe... Uh, wrap up a couple of these uh, um, collection quests this late into the this late into the league because I'm gonna have to uh, I think it's pretty imperative that I get plus five to get five in all rolls rescuers oh thank god see I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal my name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. 
too many creepers out there. That guy in the background is kind of looking like the Doom guy. We're the only ones left. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? <laughs> Maybe we could work something out. Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. Money? The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! Idiots. <clears throat> Exogeny's second rate merch proved no match for a trained alliance marine with the last of the science crew dead. There's no reason to linger here. Cool. Yeah, fuck them. Plus, I have 8 million credits. We're good. We're good. Alright, time to handle this uh, hostage situation. All right, my aim is gonna be really important here. It's time for all of my headshot powers. Cause I finished the Turian one and didn't get an achievement for it either, which is a little lame. I wonder if it's like you gotta collect all of them and then. Insane scientist. Civilian losses were tolerable. I didn't kill a single one. Message coming in. Patching it, it through. Good work, Commander. You took down the biotics with minimal collateral damage. I killed innocent people today, Admiral. The biotics set it up, but I pulled the trigger. The biotics had every advantage, including human shields. You lost a handful of civilians. Any other unit I sent in would have lost dozens of innocent lives. You saved a lot of lives today, Commander. Fifth lead out. Uh-oh. Shepard, may I speak with you? Uh-oh. I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you, too. And what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but... Part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. Go ahead. I'm listening. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. I want this, Liara. I do. But are you sure you're ready? 
I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Forget it. Get out of here. I ain't no simp. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we are. To do. <laughs> Just tell me what to do. Oh shit, boys. I'll just let y'all enjoy this. Oh, it's a butt. By the goddess, that was incredible, Shepard. Fuck yeah, best 30 seconds she's ever had. Let's go, dude. Yes! <laughs> Let's go again. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say... Thank you for everything. <laughs>